what happens next. What happens next? That's just one question today from people of all political stripes. We just heard from a Republican there after U.S. Attorney General William Barr released a four-page summary yesterday of special counsel Robert Mueller's nearly two-year-long Russia investigation. It wouldn't bother me at all. Donald Trump speaking from the Oval Office today, saying it wouldn't bother him if Mueller's full report is made public. Up to the Attorney General. Wouldn't bother me at all. This as Democrats who are vowing to continue their own Trump inquiries are demanding the full release of the report. The entire unfiltered report, as well as the evidence underlying that report, must be made available to Congress and to the American people. Barr, in his summary, said Mueller found no evidence Trump's campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government to influence the 2016 election. But when it comes to possible obstruction of justice, Barr included the line, while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. But the AG concluded the evidence was not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. And the whole purpose of this investigation was to determine whether or not there was collusion. And there wasn't. They were incredibly clear in the report that there was no collusion, not just not by the president, but by any American, no one on his team. That's a great thing for our country, and it's a great thing for this administration. The White House hailing the outcome as a victory today, the culmination of a probe, though, that saw some of Trump's former top aides prosecuted for crimes like lying to the FBI and financial fraud. Did this turn out to not be a witch hunt after all? You think Robert Mueller did a... It's lasted a long time. We're glad it's over. It's a, a 100 percent the way it should have been. Trump lashing out over the very existence of the Mueller probe, accusing unnamed people of doing unspecified treasonous things. We can never let this happen to another president again. The U.S. president not expressing outrage, though, over a key finding of the investigation. That concluded Russia interfered in the 2016 election, a point highlighted today by Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. To pit one American against the other. If we don't take that from this investigation, that the Russians tried to do it and they're going to keep trying, then we missed a real big point.